Hello everyone, uh, this is Savan from Informatica Technical Support Team and today I am going to present uh, video KB which is speaks about how to deploy the PPR using ActiveOS console. Uh, so before starting, uh, there are multiple ways of, uh, of on how to deploy the PPR in ActiveOS. Uh, one of them is through ActiveOS console uh, which is the easiest one. The other one is using ActiveOS designer. Uh, so that is something which can be done from ActiveOS designer itself if there are lots of custom application which needs to be deployed. So today's agenda for this video KBS, I will give you a brief introduction and second will be the deployment option, uh, where exactly what deployment options we have and uh, what is the need of the deployment using console and fourth will be the demo part. Coming to the introduction of uh, deployment using ActiveOS console, so as I said earlier, uh, there are multiple ways of doing it, but in case if someone is not very familiar with ActiveOS designer, ActiveOS console provides you a very uh, you know easy way of uh, deploying the BPR using ActiveOS console. Uh, so it can be a default workflows which we have for MDM and IDT integration, or it can be a customized uh, workflow as well. Uh, customize workflow BPR as well. So in today we will speak only about the default default workflows which MDM provides uh, for integration between ActiveOS and the IDD. Second is need of BPR deployment using ActiveOS console. Why why we need to deploy BPR using ActiveOS console? So as I said, I will speak about the custom. Uh, I will speak only about the default workflows which we have. So let's uh, let's assume that you have ActiveOS in place and you have to integrate that along with MDM for IDD task. In that case, uh, uh, our installation take care of the uh, deployment of a default workflow. But there are scenarios where uh, the user or the ActiveOS user has not been given the correct privileges or the correct roles which is required for this service definition to get deployed. In that case, we have to deploy the BPRs or the default BPRs from the uh, for using ActiveOS console. Those BPRs are available under resource kit. Uh, uh, and you can uh, and you can download download from there and you can deploy it using ActiveOS console. Now I am going to give you a brief demo on how to do that. So this is the ActiveOS console. I'm logging in again. So if you see here, uh, there's an option of uh, catalog. If I go to catalog and service definition, I have removed everything here. So we have what basically we have to do using ActiveOS console is we have to go here. We have to choose the deploy option, and then we have to choose the file, and we have to go uh, <laughs> to the folder. So basically, uh, we will have two uh, under the resource. Under the resource kit, you can find uh, two folders. In those two folders, uh, uh, there is one folder called common uh, folder, and another is MDM workflow. So one first, we have to deploy the common uh, common uh, BPR, which is available here, which will be the name by we common MDM dot BPR. You have to open it and you have to deploy it. So in my case it is skipping it because I already have it placed and it is there in process definition but in case if the if it's not there it will not it will come to the complete deployment. So a second thing which I have to do here is I have to go to the other folder which is BMDM workflow which contains the uh, the BPR which is by default or which this is the one which do the majority of the work. To do an open and deploy again. So this is done. So now we have to go to the process definition and if you can see all the workflows which is there is available here okay so this is how you can deploy the uh, uh, this is how you can deploy the bpr using active it's very easy and in case if you want to figure out if the deployment has happened properly or not uh, we have a table called uh, <laughs> deployment log folder deployment log table where you can figure out if you want to know whether the deployment has been properly or not there's one more way of doing it. You have to go to admin. <coughs> and you have to go to the logging properties. And here, in, in case if your logging properties are proper, you, from here also, here under this logging based directory, you can figure out whether it has been done properly or not. So this is uh, all about uh, the presentation which I was about to give. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, 
So we would we would like to hear more from you on this uh, support video. So you can uh, see all the support videos at supportvideos.informatica.com. Also, if you want to uh, know more about it, you can go to the Twitter website as well. Thanks a lot.